Howdy. I'm at the start of my move out process. I've started to pack up my things and I've been trying to record that, but it's not very exciting just putting things in boxes. I did really want to document this move out process though because I think it's going to help me be more diligent about my minimalism. I really like the idea of not having too many things that I don't need. One, because I think if I have a bunch, inevitably I'll have favorites and only use those favorites, so it's just a waste of space. And two, because I do feel cluttered in my head when the things around me are cluttered. I don't know, I feel like I take advantage of the thrift stores around me so often. In the same way that I like to get things for myself, I want to give things that other people could find useful away and like put it in that in that thrift cycle too. And I thought I was doing well. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Where I'm particularly bad at this is with my clothes. And that is because I am not good at giving things away that I will never wear. But I think I've cracked the code. I go through a lot of thrift and retail store cycles of things because things are a great price or they're unique and I find them interesting so I feel like I have to have them. A lot of times when I go to thrift stores I come back with way too much and then I have this buyer's guilt where I think oh my gosh I have to get rid of a bunch of stuff to make up for what I'm bringing in, you know? And then I may give away things that are actually closet staples in exchange for these like eccentric pieces just for the space and then I'm back in the same position where I think I have to go buy more things because while the eccentric things look great I don't wear them very often so that takes me to my first point which is how to organize your closet I think all of us have closet staples like your favorite pairs of denim you know, your favorite tops, and yet we have like five or six more just on the back burner. So to tackle that, I went to the bookstore and I found this book that taught me a little bit more about minimalism, just so I can get a better visual. I'm a, I'm a visual learner. I find that it's really easy to organize a lot of things when they're not your own. I help my mom organize her house sometimes, and I always find that I'm very quick to say, donate pile, keep, donate pile, keep. Then I look at my closet and I'm like, donate. Well, so there was a chart in this book, and it kind of has you go through questions in your head. Is the clothing item in good condition? Does it need repair? Are you gonna repair it? No to both of those things, donate. Does it fit your style? Now this is my real issue. I think I buy a lot of things because they're very exciting. And I think, oh my God, this is one of a kind. I will never find it again. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna wear it. If the item doesn't fit well, are you gonna pay to have it altered? And if you're not, why keep it? Somebody else can wear it and maybe alter it or maybe it fits them just right. Do you feel confident in it? I have a lot of things that don't fit me well, so I keep them because I like them, but when I see them in my closet, I avoid them. And then it's like, what's the point of adding them if they don't make me feel good and I never wear them anyway? Donate.
also really been trying to define my style. Not that I think it's good to put yourself in a box. However, I do think it's good, especially pre-shopping, to kind of give yourself a little mental image before you walk into a store. I like tops that are pretty well-fitting, usually kind of stretchy. I wear a lot of short sleeve tight tops. I like baggy pants. If they are high-waisted and really comfy and nice, sure. I really like sneakers. I'm a sneaker person. I love ankle socks and I'm not a fan of showing my toes. I feel exposed when I do. So I shouldn't really buy sandals. I find that admiring what other people are wearing gives me inspiration. The farmer's market is a great place to do that. All sorts of people. Other places to do this, maybe a library, maybe a grocery store, maybe like a, an art festival or something. Don't stare too hard. But you can do a little glance, throw in a little compliment so, so that they don't think you're judging. I just look forward to the day when I walk in my closet and I can just go, ah, grab a skirt and grab a top and grab a pair of shoes. No thought in mind. And I think I'm getting closer. But I think the only way to do that is to have less stuff and to also really appreciate my purchases. And if I don't, I need to get rid of them. It's a dilemma. And I don't know how many people deal with it. My dad, for example, his color palette is taupe, gray, black, white, maybe some blue, maybe a fancy dress shirt or two. But I've never seen him spend more than, this, is, this sounds like I look at him going into his closet, but I, I would be shocked if he's ever spent more than 10 minutes picking out an outfit, you know? I want that life. I want a little bit more color, but I want that life. I picked out my own color palette. I like blue, I like green, I like off-white, kind of mauve colors, light purples, pastels. My pop colors of choice, I like a good red. I like kind of gold sheen stuff. I like patterns like floral and stripes. I tend to pick things that I feel like are from other eras, particularly like 80s fashion, I really like. That's what I want to wear. I think that will make me feel good. So now, we can try stuff on. This video is sponsored by ThreadUp. ThreadUp is an online thrift store. Over 40,000 of your favorite retailers. I swear I could scroll through it endlessly. And I find brands that I've never seen before. It's kind of great because it's like a mod podge of everything. It's like the biggest mall you've ever seen and it's all discounted prices and gently used. My purchases from there were back to school themed. I tried to keep my colors in mind. I found some really good stuff, so I'm gonna show you and give you all the brands and explain all the prices and everything. First item is a bathing suit. It's still sweltering in Alabama. The estimated retail price was $128, and I got it for $24.99. Got myself a backpack, and it's kind of the perfect size. It's rectangular, so I think it'll be perfect for books. I got these camo overalls. I've never tried this pattern before. It was just a good a good color scheme, and I love them. I got this really sweet multi-pattern top, and I love the material. I also got these mauve-colored mom jeans from Zara. Original price, 46. I got them for $25.99. And just some denim jeans. They fit so well, I actually brought these to my trip to California and I wore them like, the entire time. They're so comfortable. If you shop on ThreadUp for summer styles, back to school styles, whatever you want, use my code Hallie35 to get 35% off your order and free shipping.
Another reminder to use my code Hallie35 for 35% off your order and free shipping. Thrift away, baby. It's been a couple days since closet organization. I'm still kind of in the midst of packing, but I figured I'd update you. After all of this, I realize I am in need of more staples, like just basic white and black tops that I can wear over and over. So I know in my head, I need to budget that. And that might be something that I, that I buy new, but now that I know that I have room for it and that those are things that I actually need, I feel better doing that. But this is what my closet's looking like now. And obviously the way it looks doesn't really matter because I'm moving out pretty soon, but it's just put me on a good track. So I put away all of my winter and fall stuff and I only kept long sleeves in my closet that I'd possibly wear on a cool summer day. And all these tops and everything are just spring colors, so I can see them a lot more easily now. I tried to narrow my jeans down. I got rid of a few pairs. I organized these tops by sleeve length. And I put away all of the pants that I would only wear in cool weather. And it has been a little bit easier to pick out outfits. I still think... I could use some weeding. And I think I'll be more ready to do that in time. Right now, I just have this irrational fear about not having things to wear if I get rid of too many things now. <laughs> but I'm really passionate about this and I wanna get a pretty, you know, weeded out closet together before school starts, so. Semi-minimalism, baby. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next move out vlog. Love you.